What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Football Boot Hour this evening with uh, just me, Boot Wizard, and my co-host, uh, of course, Andrew from the Lockhart Boot Blog. Uh, no special guests this evening, um, but don't worry, there'll be more back soon, so you don't just have to look at us. Uh, <laughs> uh, this week, we are going to essentially be talking about reviewers, um, kind of some problems that have definitely occurred recently. It's a bit of a... <laughs> It's a bit of a rant, isn't it, Andrew? I think that's the only way it can be can be said. It's definitely a rant episode. <laughs> There's we've got, a few we've, things we've on both our been, minds. Yeah, we've been riled up, and um, it's time for us to to say to say things. Uh, but before we do that, let's do the the normal stuff first this week, lest mm-hmm. I forget uh, some of it. Um, so let's begin with um, what you've been wearing, my good friend. I've been wearing. Yes. Are you still loving them? Oh, they're so good. I I may have stained mine quite a bit. <laughs> uh, the first time I wore them was out in the wet, and the uh, the grass hadn't been cut at the place where I normally play and get pictures, so I couldn't get pictures the first time around because the grass was too tall and you couldn't really see the shoe clearly. Oh, so, disaster. Yeah, so I'll try and get some pictures done today. The review should be up pretty soon. These are absolutely superb. They uh, they might end up being boot of the year, honestly. Yeah, I was literally... I, it's obviously coming up to that time of the year, isn't it, where you start thinking about what what is going to be boot of the year, what's going to be uh, on your lists. And I started thinking about uh, speed boots, particularly. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay... If I was to do like a, a top five speed boots, where would I put the the Scudetta? And it definitely was falling in that. I was like, it's either one or two. Like, I think, I think if you're just going to take it from this year, it might be one. But overall, I still probably prefer the Alpha, which is no, like, that's, yeah. that's not a, that, that's no slight on anything to be coming below the Alpha. <laughs> The the other thing is that the alpha should be coming. The new alpha should be coming out before the year is over. Oh, so, so probably my guess is uh, even as early as November. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. So we could we could yet see that. That's um, just a kick up my ass to get my alpha review out. Then, isn't it? <laughs> well, my- next year is the Morelia fortieth anniversary, so. Next year, I'm pretty sure will just be about the Morelia. Yeah. So get the get the alpha in while you can. Mm-hmm. Um, cool. So um, this week for me, I've got a couple of things that I haven't tried, and you know, bits and pieces. Uh, so I, I had these come in. Um, mm-hmm. This was essentially. So this was this is kind of this is definitely going to factor into the rant. So I'm not going to come in too much into it um, mm-hmm. right now. But this is a pair of Tiempo Legend 10 Pros. If you watch the podcast, you watch my channel. You know I've reviewed these recently. Um, we spoke about them on the podcast. I put up a video on these just a few hours ago um, because essentially I did a video said that they bent in half and it was a problem. Uh, this was with uh, the pink Mad Ambition pack pair. Then I got a load of messages saying, oh, no, they don't do that. It's just your boots. Your boots have a problem. So I'm super petty. So I ordered another pair um, in a different colorway. And just to, just, just to prove a point that they absolutely do still uh, completely bend in two and twist. So, uh, yeah. So I have those. They arrived today. Uh, something else that arrived today because I um, kind of bundled some stuff together. So I got free shipping. I got the pro version of the... Um, of the new material, which is interesting. I think there's a lot of positives here. I haven't mm-hmm. tried them yet, really. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit on feet and hand. A lot of positives here. The only downsides that I'm immediately getting are that the upper is quite slick. Like, not even just compared to the G, uh, to the Flyknit. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. Gripknit, um, Gripknit slick. It's just quite slick generally. Mm. Um, and it's got even more width than those um, elites to the point where I'm a little bit like, whoa, that is a <laughs> those are wide. That is a wide boot. Um, so yeah, I'll be be interested how 
how that turns out anyway. Um, in, so they're in, interesting. In theory, that should be one of the best. I can't believe I'm saying that's considering how expensive those are. Takedown models. In theory, yes. And based on just being in hand on feet once or twice, yes, they should absolutely, they should be very good. And um, we'll see once we actually use them. Uh, but they should be very good. But yeah, you're right. They're, they're currently 160 euros. Very, very expensive pair of it's takedown super boots. Super expensive. Um, we were only saying the other day that the Sakito, if you do the trade in, is 180 euros. <laughs> yeah, spend the 20 extra 20 euros, euros. difference. <laughs> Crazy. Um, and then I also got something else, um, which you don't even know I've got yet. Um, and you're going to be like, oh, I didn't know you were getting that or that you had mm. that. Um, so big shout out to uh, Tokyo Football. Mm. Yes. So I, I have need the... to order my pair so badly. <laughs> <laughs> I have the new uh, Acros 3. Mm. Um, as I say, courtesy of Tokyo Football. Um, so if you do need to pick up some ASICs, I've been saying this to everybody, um, please do check them out. I have yeah, my DS Lite X Live 5 review next week. Um, so mm. that is going to drop on the channel next week. And then uh, these will come come shortly yeah, afterwards, those are hopefully. so nice. I, I, where did they have them? They had them at my local. That's right. And they felt so much better. So I tested the very first across. And it was fine. And then I tested yeah. the first Across Pro and it was not fine. And <laughs> but now it's like so much better. Yeah, I've got the, the first one, um, which is okay. Mm -hmm. um, and just immediately the, the material, the shape, the fit, like everything is better. They've come a long way. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's a. Uh, uh, that's the other one that's in the in the bag. Uh, the the chat nice. is already already popping up, so let's jump yeah. into the chat, see what's going on. Uh, Chris Pottle is here as always. Evening, Chris. How you doing? Uh, <laughs> Footloose Boots is in the house. What's up, Petty Wizard? I'll take Petty Wizard. I'm all about that right now. Uh, Proper Boots is here. Let's go. Uh, Chris's fo footy kicks. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, mm -hmm. The Boot Zone. Good morning. Oh uh, yeah. So I was speaking to the Boot Zone earlier today who was asking mm -hmm. why we do this so late because he has to like get up early in the morning for football and i was saying obviously it's a combination of the time difference being really terrible and you yeah. have to get up at 7 a.m so um yeah. he would like you to get up about around 4 35 a.m so we can do this and he gets a bit more match day sleep <laughs> it, no. andrew says no andrew says he, no i i had to, i bleeped myself Ah, I see. I wasn't. I was looking at the chat. At the time. I didn't see. Um, Daniel Johnson is here. Thank you very much for joining us. Just finished his work day. Um, Daniel Johnson says the boot zone has baby feet. Pass it on. I will not take that kind of slander because I think him and I have the same size feet. Uh, yeah, so yeah, same. <laughs> none of that. Um, ah, kicking it with Colbs. Uh, so that's Colby from the uh, Bootcast podcast. I uh, definitely mm -hmm. go check them out. They're amazing. Um, Colby would like uh, me to create a second channel where I do nothing but bend boots and throw them behind me. Uh, if you haven't seen the video that I put out today, I bend a lot of boots and after every single boot, it just gets launched behind me. Um, mm -hmm. It's kind of classic old style boot wizard where I used to throw yep. a lot of boots. There's a mm -hmm. lot of boot throwing in that video. Um, <laughs> Here we go. Uh, d does it bend? New Boot Wizard podcast series. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it on TikTok, guys. It's just gonna be. It's just yeah. gonna be. Does it bend? And I'm just gonna get one boot at a time and bend it. And that's that's gonna be all it is. Smart idea. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there you go. Bootzone says me, uh, him, yeah, you and I are all the same. Are all the same yeah. size. Yeah. So yeah, yeah Daniel are. Johnson, we can't we can't mm. accept that kind of slander up in up in here about no, small feet. We refuse. Uh, but thank you all for joining us uh, very much. It is much appreciated. And uh, with that, we should have a look at this week's new releases. Now, I have either forgotten some stuff, or there really wasn't very much to um, to look at. Oh. So. Um, Let's let's have a look, shall we? Hold on a second. So this is probably going to come up a little bit weird because my page is being weird. Yeah, so you can see everything right now, which wasn't the plan, but you know what? It's it's we happening. Won't. So we're just gonna so we're just gonna go with it. Uh, <laughs> we're not too worried about it. Uh, so all I have for this week is I have the uh, the new Copper Gloro. 
Mm-hmm. And I also have the uh, there's a copper glow two in the red, white, and black. And then there's also the Unisport pack as well. So let oh. me get let me get them up on. Mountain. Yeah, let me get these up on screen here. So we have the the copper, mm-hmm. and we have that Unisport just came pack. out this week. Uh, that particular colorway, yes, um, officially. I, okay. um, it as feels of, like it's been out for forever. Yeah, I honestly I wasn't one hundred percent sure, but um, literally PDS posted it today, being like, um, "Yeah, this is this is out as of the twenty seventh, which is mm-hmm. right now." So I was like, "Cool, all right." Um, and we got we got a little bit of grief for not ranking the Gloro before, so I was like, "You know what? Let's let's give the people what they want, and let's oh, let's rank two the new Umbro colorways as well." I, you know what? I didn't see them. I knew they were coming, and I still didn't see them. Huh. Uh, which one? What? So there's uh, a the new colorway in the, the orange Velocita. How did I not see this? And then the black orange. Um, oh, Coco. I did see the black orange. See, I saw the black orange because you posted mm-hmm. about it. Uh, <laughs> Umbro Velocita. What's it, what's the new one called? Matrix. What's, Matrix. Matrix. Let's see if I can quickly pull this up and get it on the screen uh no i can't so that's... okay that's fine <laughs> visualize it in your head oh hold on no 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 i think i can i think i can hold on i've gone full little train who could i think i can i think i can those yes nice there we go nice pull look at that look at that we do things on the fly here um that's actually really nice that's i mm. like that colorway yeah I quite like an orange boot, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's not bad at all. Okay, so we should uh, we should rank these, shouldn't we? Uh-huh. Let's get that done. Okay, I'm going to bring the old the Umbro up here. Come here with me, Umbro. Yay. You just get to see the editing in real time right now. Yay. Whoop. Okay, so let's rank some boots. Uh, let's hey. start with the Umbro, shall we? Uh, yeah, so I like the orange one. It's good for me. I agree. Um, <laughs> I think it's an interesting boot. I still really want to try it. Um, yeah, Umbro, you can, you can hook me up if you really feel like it. You know, anybody from Umbro watching, you know, send them over. Yeah. Um, so they're going into good. I think good is a perfect place for those. It's a nice colorway. Mm-hmm. I quite like that big, the big Umbro down the lateral yeah, side. Yeah, I, I, think, I think visually it looks really good. Yeah, done a great job there. Okay. Uh, now the uh, Unisport pack, mm-hmm. I am kind of feeling like we can probably rank all three of them together. Yep. I think that, you know, I think that's that's fair enough. I think it's a nice pack, to be honest. Yeah, I do too. I think, I, I, I think they've I think done that's... a I think they've done a very good job. Yeah, I think they go in good. I also agree. Um, I, f- <laughs> I feel like had this been like maybe towards the start, of us doing this podcast, we might have put them in great, but I feel like over time we've just become jaded with the amount of colorways, yeah, and we're just like, yeah, that's, nah, that's not allowed to go in great, not having that, it's going in good. Yeah. Um, it's a really interesting concept. I like that yeah, it's a little it's bit really different. Cool. Yeah, I'm I'm the, down the, with that. The details are great. I think the they did a good job. Really good. I agree. Yeah. I think they did a good job on the king here, actually. Yeah. Um, just the the way that the um the kind of texture runs through i think it's really nice they're really pushing that there's only one king line though because yeah. like in the great wave pack they had it written on japanese right written in japanese on the side of the boot i remember you telling me that yeah yeah so, so that's an interesting one um have a review my review of that is actually recorded uh, it just needs just needs editing nice. uh, and finally the old the old gloro it's a it's a classic colorway um i don't think it's bad no is it, it's fine. It's serviceable. Is it, yeah. Is it just a meth, though? I don't I think, think it's it, just a meth. Yeah. I don't think it does anything yeah. anything particularly special. So, getting there. Getting there. Yep. And that's nice. it for the week. Yeah. That was, that was quick. That was quick for us. Relatively quick. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, let's exit that. Come back to our lovely mm-hmm. faces. Um, let's, was there anything else fun? Bend it like Boot Wizard. Yes, Chris. I love that. <laughs> that is such a good idea. <laughs> a bit like, is it cake? Yes. Will it bend? Yeah, it cake? <laughs> yeah. That's so good. 
Uh, um, Bootzone says, forgot to mention last week's episode caused him to buy some Predator Elite FTs. Let's go. Where, where nothing, if not like, I don't know, what's the word? I don't know. Influential. And influential. Peddlers. That is the that is exactly Peddlers. the word. That is exactly the word uh, I was looking uh, for. The other thing, well, it's like depending on which route you're going down, influential or we're peddlers of uh, mm. peddlers of people bu- trying to convince people to buy boots. Bit of both. Bit of bit of column A, mm. bit of column B. So um, let's move to our our main topic, and uh, I I posted a rather let's call it an, an inflammatory um, thumbnail. Um, which was no. quite simply, then <laughs> I would never um, that there's a problem with boot reviewers. Uh, mm-hmm. Now we're not necessarily talking about your established boot reviewers that you may n- have known for a long time. Yeah. There's definitely we've definitely reached a point where boots have become more and more and more popular over the last few years. This year seems like a big year for the popularity yeah. of uh, football boots and it feels like a lot of people are trying to jump on that bandwagon um yeah. with less than less than it's because they're trying pos- to make a quick buck let's there let's you go not beat around the bush they <laughs> want to make a quick buck and they see reviewing boots as the way to do it yeah so um what i wanted to do is quite simply um almost just just let you off the leash andrew and just get your thoughts kind of on this topic as a whole mm-hmm. i know we've spoken about this we spoke about this uh, yeah. earlier in the week which is where the the topic came from and mm-hmm. both of us were kind of quite irked by the mm-hmm. the situation that was unfolding mm-hmm. uh so i'd just like to get your thoughts if we could okay um yeah i mean we had we had experience with one person and again I'm not naming names, not because I don't want to name and shame, but because I don't want them to, they don't deserve to have the air. Um, But yeah, there was one guy in particular who not only gives wrong sizing advice, not only refuses to take criticism, but also gets basic facts wrong about stuff. So some really basic facts, like it's fine, like if you... Not every opinion is right, but you do have a right to an opinion. And, you know, obviously, I don't agree with a lot of this guy's opinions about stuff. For example, he was comparing, like, he did a vapor review, and he was like, oh, if you don't want the vapor, here's some other boots you could try, similar to the vapor. And one of the ones he brought up was the New Balance 442 Pro. Like, that's not similar. That's a completely different boot category. Like, if you're talking in general, like, other boots you should try, sure. But, like, it seems like, it seems like he's decided he's going to have an agenda that cheap boots are always better than expensive boots. I mean, at one point, he compares the elite to the academy and says they're just as comfortable as each other. And you won't really notice on feet. It's like, but you will notice on feet. That's, that's just straight up a lie. You're going to notice. And, yeah, just very basic facts he got wrong. And it was really, really frustrating. And it seems like, so, like, you know, James has affiliate links. It's fine to have affiliate links. It's fine. You you need stuff like that to keep your site going, keep your YouTube going and stuff. Because YouTube money is not nowhere near as much as people think it is. And um, so, like, If you go in the descriptions of this dude's videos, it's all affiliate links. All affiliate links. And so I did some digging and it was like, okay, this this guy's got to be selling something the way he's approaching this. And I did some digging and he actually started a blog a year before he even started his YouTube channel. And it's very basic, like best this, best that, best this. So obviously geared toward SEO. And of course, lo and behold, he's got three training. Uh, like one's diet, one's training, one's another training, like things, like guides you can buy. And it's really, it's it's pretty insidious because a lot of people do this and it's just straight up a lie where he's like, oh, it's, the guide is 85% off. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's like, no, it's not 85% off. That's just the price. You know, you 
you probably tried to charge higher and realized you couldn't get away with it. So you claim it's on sale. So, and, and, uh, I've been noticing this trend going back to this, like the guy does not, he doesn't seem very passionate about it. He's very straightforward in the way. And don't get me wrong. He's good at speaking. He's good at talking into a camera, but he doesn't seem to have the passion that a lot of us do. And I've noticed this is kind of a trend with like some of the stuff I've been getting in my emails and my DMS. Like I had a an account that had like 200 followers that was like, Hey, let's collab. Let's, um, yeah, let's collab on some stuff. We can get you to reach a huge audience. And I'm looking, I'm like, you have 200 followers, dude. Like, how does this benefit? I don't even know you, first off. And then, you know, I've had other people say like, hey, we'd like to put your review on our website as long as you connect to our reviews. And it's like, I have no idea who you are. You don't, like, these aren't people coming in with a business plan saying like, hey, this is what we can offer you, yada, yada, yada. Like, here's how many views we get. Here's how big our reach is, things like that. They're just like, hey, let's just collab. And they make it seem like they can offer me like a bigger following or yada, yada, yada. But reality, it does seem like they just want to piggyback off of me. And I don't have that many followers, so I can't even imagine what it's like for much bigger accounts. Like, I'm sure Noah gets crazy stuff all the time. I was going to say Noah is probably like inundated. Yeah, I, I, I and you know there was the other uh, message that I got where, um, I, I was like, this message looks really weird, and I shared it in our chat, and Justin from the Bootcast Pod Texas Cleat Collector, he's just like, oh yeah, that's AI written. I was like, oh, come on. And so, like, I went on to that guy's site, and it was all written by AI, like, mistakes and all. So, like, I messaged the guy back, and I was like, hey, I don't know what's more insulting. Like, the thing that, the thing, you think that what I do can be reduced to just splurring out content mm -hmm. using AI, or the fact that you deigned it appropriate to write an AI email to me. And then he finally came back. He's like, oh, I appreciate your support, actually. This has encouraged me to keep going. It's like, great, you're going to keep writing AI slop. Mm. You know? And and going back to the guy I talked about first off, um, I looked at his blog stuff, and his, like, I don't know video stuff very well. His videos seem fine. There's some issues with it, but they seem fine. They're serviceable. But, like, his blog stuff is garbage. It is literally, like, Okay, when you're growing up and you're taught in, you're taught like how to write in English and stuff, it's like, okay, four sentences make a paragraph. And it's literally four sentences. It's just like he's trying to reach the limit of how little he can get away with. And like, that doesn't scream to me like, you know, you know what you're doing or you're doing it because you're passionate. That just screams to me you're doing it because you want to make a quick buck. Which is hilarious because we do not make good money in this space. <laughs> yeah so like i think both of us are like our biggest problem is actually this lack of passion that we're seeing mm -hmm. from a lot of these kind of newer reviewers that have, have come through and things like this and don't get me wrong some of these reviewers are very small some of them are bigger than us like mm -hmm. there are reviewers out there bigger than us uh in terms of reach following whatever who are just not delivering in areas where i think you should have to deliver if you're going to give this kind of type of content yeah the, the, what... the dude doesn't answer his comments yeah and i was like okay maybe there's so many he can't deal with it or like but i was looking through his comments and he just picks and chooses it's if, if there's a complicated question or something he just avoids it like yeah and it's... then he'll like answer other just really random comments like i don't know man. but um as we say this was obviously going to devolve into a rant we knew this um to start with but it's for me like i say it's a lack it's a lack of passion it's like we i want as mm -hmm. many people in this space as possible because we have a really great community of people yeah within the football oh, boot yeah, space absolutely. whether you're a reseller a reviewer or you're just passionate about boots as many people as possible we're not gatekeeping anything here come on get involved no, no, no. um be we, be we part of our community want more people we want more people involved and we want more 
I would love for more blog sites, more YouTube videos, yada, yada, yada. Exactly. Like you take people like, um, for example, uh, Substance Football, I think is a great example of somebody that's really, they're, they're passionate about what they're doing. Yeah. They're delivering great content and they're growing and it's, that's great to see. But then you've got other people who it really strikes me that they have tried to jump on a train where they think they're going to be able to make money either directly through boots or through selling something else as virtue of building a platform off the back of boots mm -hmm. while firstly not having any passion for it you can you can yeah. see visibly that there is no um passion behind yeah. what they're doing and then also them not caring enough to actually produce not necessarily so the the blog i haven't seen if we're, if we're referencing this this in one individual is this has happened with many people but this mm -hmm. one individual is a good example but like the video for example the quality of the video production is ness is kind of there but it's very it's minimal but it's there mm -hmm. but the issue is like you said the lack of attention to detail basic facts gotten wrong um, comparisons to boots that don't make sense. You're not providing. So we're talking, I'm talking about community here. And like, there's obviously like this boot community of creators and people who are really involved, but we have a wider community that we service. We service this wider community by giving them information and whether these people come and get involved in our community once a year for a review, or they come and get involved every single week, watching our content, watching podcasts or whatever they're all joining this community and we service that community by providing a service, which is reviews, which need yeah. to be of a relevant standard. And mm -hmm. if, and, and to do that, you have to have knowledge. Now, everybody starts out somewhere. Like if yeah. Yuli was on the, on the chat right now, he'd be pointing out my first video because mm -hmm. everybody starts somewhere. That video yeah, is yeah. five, six minutes long. The information is basic, but it's correct. <laughs> um, and then obviously you get better from there. But again, yeah. a lot of these people that we're speaking about have far bigger platforms than we do and are still not delivering correct information, They're delivering wrong information on materials, on fit. Like the fit and sizing mm -hmm. one is, is driving me bonkers. Oh, uh, the, the, the hilarious one is somebody being like, it's that guy being like, oh, the vapor was released last year. And somebody <laughs> in his comment goes, no, it wasn't. Well, actually, actually, no, it wasn't. It was released in 2022. And he goes, yeah, but the majority of the colorways came out in 2023. It's like, but that doesn't make you right. Yeah. And why won't you even admit that you're wrong? Well, if that's I the other thing. Mistake, you're allowed to I'm, be wrong. Yeah, you're allowed to be wrong. People are going to make mistakes. We're not perfect. But, like, admit you're wrong. It's fine. So... I agree. I'm just looking at the chat here. Uh, so I, I figured this would, this would come up and I, I think we should definitely address it. Um, so da uh, this is Daniel Johnson here. He says, I'll happily name SR for you. SR for you. So this is Josh. I'm sorry. Uh, he's the exact same size and everything. I mean, everything, uh, you can't give a review on a boot on a little patch of 4G in your room. He may as well stop the reviews. Now there's, I understand the kind of a little bit of apathy towards Josh for sure. I mm am. -hmm. Um, it does feel like he's lost a little bit of passion from when he first started mm -hmm. and things like that. However, like I'm going to defend Josh, um, at this point because, um, Andrew and I, through having this discussion, uh, recently about these few different creators that have prompted this particular podcast, both had the conversation that, or, or this, this realization that in actual fact, Josh is still producing very high quality content in comparison to a lot of these people. There is people who are growing in the space and putting out these reviews and getting attention who are, they don't have the passion Josh does and they don't put out the information that he does. Uh -huh. And I will, you got to give Josh his, his due, like sizing aside. Yeah. Sometimes I find his sizing advice to be incorrect. Incorrect is subjective, but I, I don't think he's right. Yeah. But um, the information that he puts out there, what the materials are, how the boot's made, where you can get it, all this kind of stuff, he's correct. He at least mm -hmm. makes sure the information that goes out there into the community is correct. Um, and yeah, of course, he's trying to sell stuff too. He's trying to sell yeah, grip yeah, socks. Definitely. He's got his affiliate links and things like that. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't feel like that's the sole purpose of what he's yeah. doing. Um, it's the same with me. I have affiliate links. I have things that because you you have to make you have to pay for it somehow. Yeah. Um. But it's not the sole purpose of what I'm doing. 
speaking of this is going to go all over the place today guys because like quite right. simply um it's, it's, it's just it it's, has to. it's just it just has to because I, I it's a train of thought thing um i will i will happily share this information with anybody who ever asks i'll share it now on the podcast um i'm literally looking at my uh revenue on youtube right now for the last 28 days so from today backwards 28 days i'll show you on the camera there i don't know if it'll mm -hmm. focus I don't think it will, but it's it's 199 US dollars. That's what I made in the podcast. Uh, or, it's not off the podcast, sorry, off the everything I put on the channel over the last um, 28 days. Now, yeah. that sounds like a decent amount until you realize that in those in that 28 days, um, I bought three pairs of boots to review. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I bought the uh, the Tiempo Pro. I bought the uh, the Decathlon Kipster, and I bought the new. Uh, the new mercurial mm -hmm. so immediately as a huge loss <laughs> um then you've got your affiliate links and things like that which try and top it up a little bit i know that obviously andrew without having that youtube ad income makes slim to nothing oh i'm so <laughs> in bad shape yeah, yeah. That, that was the thing is a few weeks ago some some guy was saying like oh they're only in it for the money we don't make money yeah. off of this <laughs> we are in this for the opposite reasons of money we yeah. care about the boots and I think a lot of our issue here is that people seem to be in it for the money. And yeah. as again, to defend Josh, I, as much as he obviously makes his living off this and he's promoting his grip socks and he's got his discount codes and things like that, the content that he puts out is of a good enough quality and he gets his facts right. Um, uh, again, sizing, uh, we can and, debate all day. And, you, and you know, for what it's worth, I know of a lot of people who don't even watch his content, but will use his discount codes. Hell yeah. So many yeah. people do that. Yeah. And he, and like, he knew exactly, and he set that up years ago and he knew exactly oh, he's what smart. he was like, doing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, like I say, um, not to discount uh, Daniel's thoughts there. I'm literally just giving mm -hmm. like my thoughts yeah. on how, how Josh factored into our thoughts and, and this mm -hmm. particular discussion. Um, and like I say, the, the, the sizing is maybe where you could, uh, where you could yeah. question that because he does tend to tend to repeat the same thing there. Um, Tracker says, "Yeah, his content's good. He's got all you need. We've just changed. That's an interesting. Um, I, I, I think that's an I, interesting I, thought process actually that the boot industry has changed and moved away yeah, from maybe what he's doing. I I don't disagree with that actually. We definitely no, neither have do changed. I. I think that's a very good point. Yeah. But I also say, as much as we've changed, Joss has changed as well. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he." Like one of the things I used to love that he did is he'd just do his random free kick videos or he'd just yeah. kick around. And his uh the thing he said is like he can't book a facility anymore. That's fine. But he still I like he's shown before that he has other facilities around him. Mm -hmm. So like if you like I understand his his uh recording schedule must be nuts doing like three uploads a week is Absolutely. a lot. It's like, that's a lot of work, but like he could still squeeze some extra in there. I feel like. Well, like I do agree there, but I'm doing two a week and a full time job. So that is his full time job. I, that's how what I mean. You do, yeah. How much could you do a week if this was your full time job? I I could easily I could knock out four or five videos a week, like with, without too many yeah. issues, and um, one or you two shouldn't. of those videos could be my yeah. could be like me on the pitch. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Noah. Noah does yeah. so much content. Tons of content. But mm -hmm. anyway, I think we're getting off I think we're getting off track. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold I need I need to address this. Chris Pottle, you need some affiliates. I thought I thought Chris Pottle had some affiliates. That's I, uh... I have no idea. Chris, we Chris, need, we need to you... have a chat, buddy. Um also if you need chat. some affiliates, um hit me up. I might be able to point you in a direction. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't Chris, have many, send, send but me, I can. Send, yeah, send me a DM, dude. Messages, Chris. Messages. Don't mention that mean jerk in Australia's content. We are still on strike. What Noah? Oh, I think he. I think he's um because Noah took shots at the edge again in his um in one of his uh, uh, videos this week. I am. Um, I, I I will say this for. As much as I harp on, here's my invention of the Adler boots. 
Um, I'm surprised I haven't, um, there hasn't been a hate review yet. Because normally when something gets really, really popular, mm. somebody will hate review it. For sure. Like, I remember years, years back, like, when I was getting into Pantal Fedora football boots, I was looking up reviews on YouTube, and there was literally, um, <laughs> there was one, like, it was, like, Nike boot versus Pantal Fedora, like, how you play. And as a kid, like, you know, hitting some great shots and stuff and doing some nice tricks and a pair of Nikes. And then he puts on the pantofla and he's shanking all the shots and yada, yada, yada. <laughs> and I was just like, all right. That's funny. Oh, cool. I saw, I saw you message, Chris. I'll get, I'll get back to you a bit later, but yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And like, I think the reason we haven't seen a hate review on these yet is because there's still, there's enough negative attention about them already. I, I don't think we'll get a hate review purely off the ba uh, purely off the fact that people are doing it in the comments. Like people yeah. are getting upset about them. Like it's, I think the boot community would find it very hard to hate review those uh, because of what they are, what they stand for, how they're made, who made them. Like they they're kind of like a a boot head's boot a little bit. Yeah. Um. So I, I think it would be very difficult to hate review those without making yourself look utterly stupid um but there's plenty of people out in the comments being like oh no you're, you're like you're only uh, essentially attacking the reviewers because we're saying they're great you know but uh proper boots send me the send me the sokito hate oh hey there we go yeah, gotta love yeah, that send, he said he said he came across so yeah the boot that boot just needs a swoosh and people will buy them hot out of the oven yeah exactly they get sizing and colorway hate yeah Sizing, sizing, like, I don't disagree about the sizing issues, but also shut up. Um, <laughs> and, and, like, and I'll say this, like, okay, one of the reasons I'm going to defend Sokito is because I love the product, I love mm -hmm. their mission, yada, yada, yada. But the other thing is, the dude who started the brand is literally a boothead. Yeah. He was an avid boot collector. Like, I had, I, like, small side i went out to eat with him last year when he was in japan and we had a really good chat and it was just like just talking to him immediately and this is one of the reasons why i pushed him so hard is because like talking to him you're immediately met with the fact that this dude loves boots but i he think that shows in the scudetta i think in the scudetta it shows hey, that somebody Ricky's who here. loves boots somebody yeah. who loves boots made that boot I yeah, know he didn't exactly. make every element, but he obviously had a huge hand in that boot. Mm -hmm. And it, that boot, if of any boot, it's clear that somebody who loves boots had a big hand in it. Hey, Ricky. Yeah. Um, I bought Una Zero and the Adler knocks him out of the park, Tracker says. Yeah. Damn, yeah. yeah. I, I, like, Too right. I don't want to be mean about Una Zero. I've, I haven't seen, I've seen some positive reviews. Well, there's a lot of positive reviews, but I've seen some so-so reviews as well. I, I have been told to not review them because of how my review will be. <laughs> yeah, I've heard the great quality as well. But um, yeah, I've been told not to review it. Every once in a while, um, and I won't name names, but every once in a while, people will reach out to me and be like, don't review this dude. I will say like the um, Tiempo 10, for example, the Elite. Jason from Boot Hype was like, do not review this boot. <laughs> It'll be a waste of your time and your money. You're going to hate the boot. It's a yeah. fine boot. He's like, but you're but going you're to gonna hate the You're going to hate it. Yeah. I, yeah. Based on my taste. So that's the nice thing is having friends. Again, community. We have a community here. Like, There's a lot of people in the community. I would love to see write content. I would love to see produce videos if they had the time, you know, and money to do so. And instead, we're getting, you know, we've got some really good people like sub, subs in here now. And like, we're getting, you know, people like sub and LJ coming through. That's awesome. Well, LJ's not really coming through. He's way bigger than both of yeah, us. Yeah, I was going to say, and, LJ anyways, is so much bigger yeah, than us. And, yeah, and yeah, Sub, yeah. Sub isn't far behind. Like, so, no. and Sub's massive on TikTok, I think. He's got like 20, 30,000 people following him on TikTok. Like. Yeah, ex exactly. So, like, but on the other hand, we've got we got people using AI to write their prompts and stuff. And it's yeah. like, 
I think yeah. something else I definitely wanted to bring up. Um, obviously, we've spoken about this is more we've been talking about people doing like long form reviews and things like that, and people obviously not having the passion and not really developing good quality content. And I think mm -hmm. I definitely want to pivot to what we're getting now, mentioning like short form and TikTok short form content that we're getting because obviously that's what people are kind of digesting that's what people are mm -hmm. interested in i need to make more of that myself in order to obviously yeah, make the channel I more beneficial but i definitely want to pick up on a few people that are making short form boot content off the back of something else that they do again trying to piggyback this idea that boots are now the big thing boots are a big deal so therefore I will start making boot content. Uh, this mm. tends to come from coaches, trainers, people yeah, like that. Several like, coaches who exactly because um, that kind of content is very popular. Uh, training mm -hmm. content, coaching content, things like that. Mm -hmm. And then a few of these people have worked out: oh, boots are huge. Therefore, I'm going to review boots, which to a degree is fine, provided you keep your information reasonably basic or you at least get your facts right but it's just not happening it's no. just it's people talking like genuine crap on yeah. like short form videos um, and don't get me wrong some of these short forms look great but mm -hmm. there's people talking like oh this boot is for this position and things like that and i'm like oh would yeah. you stop yeah. like it's a combination of things it's one you're, you're just wrong it's stupid information and mm -hmm. two somewhat selfishly you're making my life so much harder because the amount of comments and questions i have to like fend off where people go like oh it's, it's... i'm a winger etc cetera, etc cetera. and i'm like stop feeding this narrative that boots I, I... position is a thing that how you play matters buy boots that fit you <laughs> yeah i like we have um in the world right now we have a huge misinformation problem Mm -hmm. I never thought it would get. I should. I was naive. I never thought it'd get this bad in the boot space, but I was obviously wrong. Yeah. It is so bad. It is so 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 bad. It is almost harder to find. In fact, it probably is harder to find the correct information than the incorrect information in the boot space right yeah. now. Because if yeah. you start to think about the people in the boot space that generate content, and I'm talking about people who generate content who would be like putting reviews and information out there so i wouldn't include like your chris pottles and things like that who do amazing content but it's not related to the the performance mm. of a boot so you reviewers and things like that and you start to list off the number of us the way you can be like okay i know that that person is doing content where the information is correct at least the basic information mm. is correct and they're trying to give genuine god's honest truth even you know we can all have different opinions you and i differ on various yeah, points, yeah absolutely but like that's not the same as putting out disinformation so there's yeah. the number of us that are getting it right or uh, in terms of like putting out genuine information is less than 10 like mm. and then there's so many others that are just putting out nonsense that's making our job harder and making it harder for these people in the wider community that I keep talking about to actually get the right information. And yeah. in turn, because these people with the disinformation are getting so big, it means that trying mm -hmm. to get people to the right information is even harder because yeah. I get buried, you get buried, sub gets buried, you know? And it's like, oh, it's, it's very frustrating. It's very frustrating yeah. because realistically, all I want to do is give people the right information and I don't want to have to fight to do that. And I don't yeah. want people to be doing things off disinformation. Football boots are expensive. Like, yeah, exactly. You want people to get the right thing. That's the main point of why we do what we do outside of like, obviously we love it is that I want people to, I want to help people <laughs> get the right yeah. product i want there's nothing better than people getting in touch with me and being like hey i watched your review i bought these boots i absolutely love them you're 100 percent right yep. these are amazing that, that that like normally like and i've been getting down a lot recently about stuff partially because the blog is broke as shit but <laughs> like um when somebody reaches out to me and says like hey your review really helped me like that makes it worth it I agree. I absolutely agree. And again, um, I need to reiterate, we sure as hell ain't doing this for the money. <laughs> no, we absolutely are not. Hell no. Um, I like, I, there's, think, right, 
here's why we're not doing it for the money. It's 7 a.m. in Japan. It's like, well, what is it? Half past seven now. Like half past 10 to midnight here. I'm freezing my balls off and I'm sat here talking on a podcast about boots. We don't need to be here, but no. we do it because we like, do it because we like doing it. We like doing it. Like the, 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 the podcast of everything that goes on the boot as a channel, the podcast loses the most money because there's no affiliate off the back of this. No. Nope. And the software we use to stream costs $30 a month. So mm -hmm. we, we just hemorrhage we're, we're money. Losing, we're losing money. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine. It's we don't care. Exercise. It's a lot of yeah. fun. Yeah. Um, a couple of things to point out. Uh, Let's Ricky do it. was talking about the Unizero only having good reviews from ambassadors, mm. which kind of seems to be the course. Like, part of me wants to review the boot because I just want there to be a Noah's review was really good on them. He did a review some time back about them. He did, yeah. And I want to do something similar just to get that out there, like, you know, getting something right, or not right per se, but just getting something a bit more clear that's not tainted. Like, yeah. if I was to ever review the boots, I wouldn't sign up for their ambassador program because I, I, I have no interest in affiliating myself with them. Don't get me wrong. I like their idea. I like their mission, but it's not. It's not for me. Exactly. Um, D, like DJ, not me, Andrew. I'll look to buy the boot and change my mind. Look, DJ. What I love about you, though, is you are so extremely honest with yourself about stuff that when you do find the perfect boot for yourself, everyone will know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Tracker says, I love the Ultreza 3. It's so good. The Ultreza 3 is excellent. You need to try it or buy my pair, please. Um, <laughs> and um, I'm done buying boots unless Predators come out in all black or some red. It looks like there will be a black red next year. It does, yeah. DJ says, you said Nemesis was a good boot, but that's wrong information. Shut yeah, so up, DJ. I've got, I've got a couple of things to, to point out here. So, Sub has just said, let's uh, talk about our favorite co coach who runs an academy. I'm getting there, Sub. Give me a second. Yeah. Just hold on. Um, I, and uh, yeah, DJ, with your, um, you said the Nemesis was a good boot. That's wrong information. You That is a fast way to get yourself kicked out of this chat, my friend. To, you still uh, have to pay full <laughs> price if you're an ambassador. We're close to full price. Yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah, you do. Uh, um, and then uh, Justin makes, it's put this very well. We've kind of said this. It's okay to put, put out information and get it wrong, but it's never okay to purposely put out wrong information. The only thing I would add to that is it's also not okay to put out information that's wrong because you haven't done the research. Like yeah, it's yeah. So yeah, I completely agree with Justin's statement. And a lot of the information that's out there at the moment is people putting out wrong information and it is somewhat purposeful because they just don't care enough to get it right. Yeah. Like they're not trying they, to mislead people, but they are misleading people because they just don't care. Yeah. Because they don't have the passion and they think they can make a quick buck from this. Lol. Yeah. Um, Lol. <laughs> yeah. Then it's, they don't care. They're, they just, they're just in it for the money. So for sure. Um, I'm going to get to subs point now because this was where I was heading. Yeah. So um, there's a, I can't remember his name. I've actually messaged him before. Um, so there's a, a coach in, is it Dubai? I think um, so. Who essentially does boot content alongside his coaching content. And his boot content actually got bigger than his coaching content. And a lot of what he does is boots by position, um, pushing boots that are um have more protection so they have a thicker upper he's like more protection on boots and things like this mm -hmm. and majority of sometimes he puts out a video and he's a bang on absolute mm -hmm. bang on most of the time broken clock man yeah exactly most of the time it's complete nonsense mm -hmm. and i've seen so this is taking off because this guy's got a huge following, gets thousands, mm -hmm. thousands, thousands, thousands of views and his boot content does really well. And he's having a genuine influence on people of a certain age bracket, I think, mm -hmm. because I've seen be underneath loads of um, boot content, short form, long form, people making um, the, the same comment, which is um, like washing up gloves. 
which is something he says. So he mm. says about um, synthetic boots, a lot of synthetic boots. This started when I think the speed portal came out. He started saying it, that mm. the synthetic is like rubber gloves, like washing up gloves. And he would say like, this boot is no good because that's what the, the upper is. And it's just transitioned into this thing that's said about basically all non-leather boots. Mm. Um, and it's it's wrong. And he's the one that started this. And he basically started it because of this, he's just creating content he doesn't really mm. care and i don't think he's trying to do it to be malicious but because of what he's done he's having that influence and he's mm. impacting people and there's so many people now that are like you know oh the copa sense is amazing and it's because this guy said so the copa sense has sense the protection garbage. thing drives me insane it's like oh this boot has better protection. no it doesn't like it's a modern it football not. boot like it's you, if you get stepped on it hurts like um but yeah like i with him it's a weird one because he is purely doing these things to get views retention attention on mm -hmm. his short form content that's why yeah. he's doing it yeah. and he doesn't really have interest in boots whatsoever no. um which is why he says these things and he does he says and does things that engage the audience where people are because mm -hmm. people want to say Oh, this boots for a winger. That's what people want to know. Yeah. So he says that, engages his audience. He's not trying to be malicious, but what he's actually doing is damaging literally everything we do at the same time. Yeah. Like he is literally making things harder and damaging the entire concept of a review because all of a sudden we now have, and it, it's a lot of young people, like a lot of young a lot people, of young people who are flying into this idea again that like, if I'm a winger, I need X, Y, Z. I've had two, three conversations with people this week where that's how it started. And I could not explain, no matter how simply I broke it down, that boots by position were not a thing. Yeah, it's like, like trying it's to... Marketing, like, it's marketing, man. It's marketing. I think talking people off... Yeah, it's marketing. I, I think talking someone off a cliff edge would be easier. <laughs> because it's gotten so ingrained in people people's heads and again i bash nike a lot on here because they absolutely deserve it it's nike did this mm -hmm. this started from nike going to boots by position they had a whole marketing plan they they sent it to me when i because i was in charge of like the boot room area in our store and like it's like this is how you need to guide people and it's like i am absolutely not doing that and they're like, yeah. okay, we don't really care, but this is just, it's just considered a rough guide. And I'm like, no, it's not a rough guide. Boots by position has always been bullshit. <laughs> it's complete garbage. If someone tells you, if someone tells you this, like, um, boots by position or thing, or like, get this boot if you're such and such, they're lying to you. Yeah. There are certain boots that may accentuate you know, if you play a certain position, I guess. But like, for the most part, it's like get the boot that fits you. I I, I bring the, I brought this up before. Um, one of the fastest guys I ever played against were Copa Mundials. Yeah, and this wasn't like thirty years ago or something. I know I'm old. I ain't that old. This was <laughs> this was literally like ten years back. The dude was rapid, but he wore Copa Mundials. And you'd never change. And I like, I had chats with him on the pitch and stuff. And he was like, Copa Mundial's best boot ever for me. I'm, why would I change? I don't care if they're heavier than modern boots. I'm not changing. Yeah, exactly. And he always stuck. And like, he always stuck. And like, I would notice he wore them so much and for so long. I'd be like, oh, hey, you got a new pair of Copa. And he's like, yeah, yeah. Thanks for noticing. But yeah, no, it's it. Get what fits you. Get what works for you. Yeah, get what works for you. And I, I understand this idea that, like, you know, you might say that you like a certain thing, and that's fine. And you might say that, oh, I feel better, like, when I have this element in the boot. So maybe I am a winger, and I prefer the feeling of aggressive traction, or, yeah. like, a, an aggressive snapback. That's cool. Like mm -hmm. there's no, like, it doesn't mean that a winger needs that. It just means that you prefer that feeling, which yeah, is exactly. completely valid. Um, mm -hmm. But that's the whole thing. It's about what do you prefer? Yeah. 
what do you want to try um that kind of thing um but yeah like i i know um, tracker says you know about the 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 guy in dubai or whatever he's not damaging on purpose he's just like on the original software uh yeah like i know he's not damaging on purpose but he is still damaging because he's not considering the impact that he's having and I, is purely doing things for his own ends like yeah and I, and I it think, still is giving out incorrect information he's still I, damaging I, by I, giving I out incorrect he's, information he's he's gotten enough comments at this point that i think he's doing it on purpose to a degree he must be yeah like he, he people are he, bastards yeah and like he knows that more comments is more engagement more engagement <laughs> means more people see his videos um, yeah. I actually messaged him once. I probably will still do this at some point. I mm-hmm. messaged him once to basically say, hey, appreciate your content, but I um, I disagree with a lot of things you say about football boots, mm-hmm. um, review boots on my channel. I'd really love to take some of your, um, your videos on boots and um, combine them into a video with me where I give my point of view on what you've said. Um, Mm -hmm. so usually if I'm going to directly criticize somebody and something they've done, I will message them first. I'll be like, Hey, look, I want to do this. Like, do you want to have a conversation with me about it before I do it? Kind of thing. Um, yeah. (laughs) So, but he, well, he never got back to me. Um, so, um, so I feel like that's, I've kind of got free reign. He doesn't know who we are. He doesn't care. No, absolutely. Um, and I wouldn't expect him to know who I was, but at the same time, like I, I, it was a nice message anyway. I tried. Um, so yeah, at some point I'll still do it. Like I'm trying to make more short form content to take mm-hmm. what he says and kind of break it down as like, Hey, I, I disagree for these, these reasons. I think is perfectly you're reasonable. Way nicer, you're way, way nicer than me. I just like, <laughs> you suck. Stop making content. <laughs> I, oh, the, the the one that drove me insane is I, I just came across randomly across like this video series, I guess, of this guy trying to go pro. Okay. And he apparently had bought boots off of Timu, which like, I know you've got your affiliate and stuff, but one of the things you did not get was boots. You should not get boots from them. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, this video was like, because you guys were giving me crap about buying shoes from there. I went to a store and bought actual boots, you know? You're right. I'm a, I'm going to trying to be a professional. I need to have professional boots. And then he goes and he buys a pair of like league predators. <laughs> so like a pair of 90 pair of $90 pair of boots. And I'm like, yeah. okay, to a certain point, there's a lot of guys out there. Like they don't care what they're wearing. They'll play in anything. There's a That's lot fair. of people like that. Fine. Yeah. But if you're going pro, surely you would at least have a little... You know, if you're starting from the bottom, if you're not someone who's already in the game, like if you're already in the game, they just give you boots and say, here, wear these and you just do it. But Mm -hmm. if you're starting from the bottom and you don't have an agent and things like that, then, you know, at least do a little bit of research on what you're getting. Uh Uh-oh. Okay, you're not, you're frozen. I'm frozen on your screen. You're frozen on my there we go. Okay, I think I think we're back. I think we're good. Like I think the connection is just a bit a bit, bit bad, um, but it's it's yeah. all good. Um, I hope you're all getting everything over on the uh, over on the live over on the chat. Um, uh, get get your questions in there. Um, obviously, let us know what you're what you're thinking. Um, but yeah, like this this really comes back to the disinformation thing. Anybody can put out the content that they want. Anybody can say you know this that and the other. It's about disinformation, and it's about mm-hmm all of the information that's being flooded into the market and the fact that most of the information that's going into the community is actually incorrect or at least not a hundred percent what it should be. Um, Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of people not putting the time and effort in and trying to either cash in or just even gain more followers and things like that um, any way that they possibly can. And it's making the boot, market the boot industry the boot community as a whole way more difficult for people um and obviously more difficult for us in turn but i'm actually not it's not us that i'm particularly concerned about it's just the 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 wider community that i keep talking about yeah, yeah. those people who are buying where i'm like dear god how are you like the the way you're going to get your information is just so difficult and to go back around to where we were talking about josh it's like 
you would definitely be hoping that people come across Josh because obviously he's so such a huge channel before they came across a hundred other people who yeah. haven't got a clue and just don't care and are just feeding anything out there to mm. boost social media numbers, make sales, try and sell their programs, their affiliates, anything like that. Um, and yeah, it starts with lack of passion and ends with just pure negligence in a lot of places. Yeah, yeah. You're just doing stuff just for the bucks. Yeah. Justin says that guy wears turf boots for his programs. What the hell? What? Okay. Jeez. <laughs> Short farm boot boot content is a minefield. It is. It yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. The 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 problem is that with the the problem is short form is your best way for a lot of people to grow. Um mm -hmm. like for example, I have been doing almost exclusively long form content um for five years now on YouTube. Um and my uh YouTube channel uh currently stands at fourteen thousand subscribers, something like that. Mm -hmm. Um I a good video gets six, seven thousand views, something like that. Mm -hmm. So I understand why people go, go short form uh, to try and to try and obviously grow because mm -hmm. long form there there isn't there isn't that there isn't there to be able to do it is so dominated by um, Unisport by Josh you know mm -hmm. a few of the people Noah's managed to crack it pretty well uh, but yeah, even Noah yeah. if you think about it Noah's still only thirty thousand followers subscribers mm -hmm. which in the grand scheme of things is nothing and Noah we would consider I would consider to be massive. Like yeah. Nora is he's, huge, and he, he and he like for us, he's everywhere. Yeah, absolutely but, everywhere. Like, in the grand scheme of things, how big is he actually? Which which sucks because like, if I was gonna put any of us on a platform to like kind of speak for us as a group, Noah would, would definitely be up there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so. for sure. Okay. Do we... uh, DJ says Andrew, I'm not sure I've asked you if you thought about videos or is it just time consuming. Time consumption, and I, I don't want to do videos. Look, <laughs> it's everything... difficult enough to get him on here. <laughs> yeah. It, like, it's several years back, Facebook basically lied and said video was the future to get Pete to try and push their new video, the addition of video to Facebook. And so many companies switched to that. And then they found out Facebook lied and a lot okay. of these companies either went under or had to cut way back on staff, blah, blah, blah. So ever since then, a lot of people have been saying like pivot to video without realizing it's quite malicious in a way. And the other thing is for me, I can get more across in writing than I can in video. I'm sure I could script and be fine and stuff like that. I might do TikTok just because you kind of have to, but I don't want to do YouTube. I hate video editing. It sucks. It just absolutely sucks. I I don't want to be involved in it whatsoever. That's Andrew why just James Vin has you yeah. slamming everything I do. Sorry, <laughs> and you everything I love. <laughs> you do great stuff. But for me personally, yeah. I, um, I don't. It's literally don't if anybody doesn't know, it's literally my job now as well. So yeah. like I obviously do Boot Wizard, but I also work for another company where I make their YouTube videos for them. So I spend all day creating and editing youtube videos for um for this company that's based mm -hmm. in america and then um on in my free time i don't move from where i would be made doing my yeah. work and i make boot wizard videos where i also um i also edit those um so if to be fair if anything positive has come from from boot wizard aside from the wonderful community of people is that the only mm. reason i have my job that i have now um is because of boot wizard i got recommended mm. by uh yaz so if any of you any of you watched yj football back in the day um and know yaz uh yaz recommended me for this particular position and um yeah i got to go and interview and essentially i know i knew nothing about the subject matter that i make videos on and i had to learn it all um but they essentially looked at my youtube and were like hey we like the way you present and we like the way you are on camera and we like that you can do video editing so come and come and work yeah. for us so yeah, i gotta awesome. take that very massive positive because mm. it allows me to work yeah. from home and um be be with my kid a lot of the time so you know gotta take yeah. that as a win yeah exactly yeah i uh 
Yeah, I ain't, I ain't getting fully recognized or anything. But, <laughs> I mean, the uh, yeah, DJ does respond. Get over that. You know how many times I read your blog over and over. I've had people who have messaged me like, "Oh, hey, it's cool." Um, you know, I see you have a blog. Do you have any video reviews? And it's like, no. And they're like, oh. And like, I know for a fact that some of those people did not go on to read my reviews because later they'd ask me a question. I'd be like, that's covered in the review, buddy. We have it with um, with the, the company I work for. So it's interesting. Um, so our the company I work for, the blog itself is way bigger, way more in depth than the YouTube channel. And the YouTube channel has a million subscribers. So, um, but the, the, the blog itself is the main focus. So there's way more information there. So what happens sometimes is we make a video and somebody comments on the video, like, oh, how would I do this thing? Or what's this thing? And we send them a link to the, uh, to the article and be like, oh, hey, we don't have a video on that, but here's the, here's the article on how to mm -hmm. do it. And we have literally had people respond with like, if I wanted to read an article, I'd go and find one. I was looking for a video. Like people are literally, they're one or the other. And there's people who are on articles who like, we put a lot of videos in the articles so that people can click and watch the, the video instead if they want. And they're just like, absolutely not. I'm reading this article. Like yeah. people, people, people are one or the other. Like, um, really, really Raging one or the other. against the dying of the light in some ways. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. TikTok brain, y'all. Yeah, that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, so true. And that's, and like, okay, uh, like in general, as a society as a whole, people like to blame people for this, but it's absolutely the companies pushing yeah, this. Yeah, of course it is. They, they know exactly how to make content addicting. They know how to make their algorithm work, things like that. The reason TikTok Logs is so addictive be is because of how good their algorithm is. Yeah, yeah. Like, blogs would be, this is my hot take is blogs would be much bigger if it wasn't for interference from these giant corporations who have it in their interest to do just follow the flavor of the month. Yep. Yeah. True. It's why forums. Um, Cause yeah, I used to love a good forum. Forums mm -hmm. used to be a lot of fun, but yep. uh, um, what have we, I just going to say, um, yeah, uh, I don't know where the question was, but I see a uh, sub here put um, Jolta left Unisport and focused on his filmography company, I believe. Uh, yeah, like um, as to my yeah, knowledge, that's exactly um, what happened. And he had his um, his YouTube and he had his Instagram and all that kind of stuff. But that actually completely stopped um, around, I think, just before COVID. Um, mm -hmm. like, or just yeah. after COVID started and everything on that stopped. So I was kind of hoping that he, doing all right and has kind of managed to come out of it the other side and yeah. whatever but yeah there's nothing on his um company anymore any uh any anymore which is which is disappointing um like oh, i didn't see a lot of his stuff but for him you know like i, yeah, I, like, yeah, to yeah, see, yeah. I like to see people do well yeah yeah like um um skilla yeah 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 he isn't he didn't he have to do military duty? He did, yeah. So he had to do yeah. uh, military service in Finland, um, yeah. which is uh, six months or something like that. But it really got in the way. Tractor just said the Bart Simpson from Finland was awesome. I don't know if that's... <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's Skilla. Um, so, yeah, no, um, he... Um, he had to go off and do that. And I think it made, a, it again, had a huge impact on what he was able to do and if he was going to come yeah. back and things like that. I still speak to yeah. him occasionally, but I, I just don't think it's maybe yeah. not his, not his thing anymore. It doesn't have the time anymore. That old boot, Mizuno boot forum was fire. Yeah. Yeah. Big soccer was, was legit. Big soccer was so big that even J Mike was getting on there. <laughs> Josh got on a couple of times, but kind of grew out of it quickly. But I feel like Josh Jay likes Mike to keep to himself. Yeah, he does. And that's fine. That's uh, Jay enough. Mike was on there a bit more frequently and then just kind of fall off. The few first boot reviewers I watched was Free Kickers. Yeah, same. They were kind of like the initial ones to do it. But I mean, aside from Josh, just because yeah. their for long form was different. But now it's all training stuff these days. And no hate at like. I, lo I love GCFC training. I love Mark. But that's about the only training stuff I can put up with. Mark is the only training stuff I watch. Literally the I'll, only I'll, stuff. Yeah. A lot of the other training stuff, I'm like, this is just absolute garbage. Yeah. Sorry. 
No, I, I will watch. I will watch Mark. Um, so at yeah. GCFC Training, if you don't, uh, if you don't follow him, uh, go and check Mark out. He is exceptional. Uh, such a nice guy. Um, I did a video yeah, with him recently, great. actually. Um, so if mm-hmm. you haven't, um, if you haven't seen that, I did a something we've done on the podcast before, actually. So Andrew and me and Noah did a best mm-hmm. brands, and we did it in a very analytical, maths based way, and we had a definitive, very specific list. I loved that video. And then Mark and I did a similar concept with just a straight up tier ranking and hot takes. Yeah. So <laughs> there's. <laughs> It's two very different approaches uh, to the same thing, and both were uh, a crazy amount of fun. Um, just to plug Mark a little bit more, he has a video coming soon. Um, it's not on his channel yet, which is like a mm. day in the life um, kind of vlog type video. Uh, that when mm. it drops, definitely go and check that out. Uh, when that drops on his channel, that's something you should go and watch. Seven uh, oh, MLC is good, Andrew. That training one I sent you the other day, just like that. Oh yeah, Will John's good. I, I like Will John because he's got personality. Yeah, got I don't. I don't watch him a lot because I don't watch a lot of training stuff. But to be fair, yeah. he is he himself yeah. is very entertaining to watch. The Unisport, the Unisport stuff is pretty good as well because not infrequently, not as much as I'd like maybe, but they do sometimes bring in experts on stuff. Yeah, that's true. There you go. We've just slammed training stuff and then given like four four ones that are decent so You're gcfc welcome. seven L- seven uh mlc uh will draw on unisport there you go we're yeah. uh, we're a source of all source of all knowledge yeah. I, we need somebody to do exactly that on a massive platform for boot reviewers and be mm-hmm. like hey so here are the boot reviewers that you should absolutely check out um maybe we should do that maybe like yeah. we should come up with i, I don't want to do it right now because i will forget somebody um, yeah, and yeah, I will feel with list. terrible about that. Um, but I feel like we should definitely come up with a list of like, here are boot reviewers that we think you should, you should go and check out. Um, that would be interesting. If you have thoughts, get them in the chat. Um, yeah, yeah. If you, so if there are people that you watch that you're like, these guys are really good. Uh, these people do great, uh, great content. Then please, um, do let us do let us know um don't, don't that do that it gets toxic and people's feelings get hurt i've seen that with streamers eh 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 there's not that there's not like just, justin justin i am here to hurt people's feelings <laughs> yeah, yeah that's that's but part not of yours. andrew's not whole yours. thing i i love you justin except you know for your edge talk, but you know um there's yeah not, that's kind of part that of my whole of that's kind of part of my whole thing is i tend to punch up at a lot of companies and i'll punch up at people who are bigger than us i'm surprised and we're not punching the guy we talked about earlier we're not punching down because he is technically bigger than both of us he is bigger than both of us um which is so upsetting uh, <laughs> oh dear but yeah just a list of people people you like share them in the comment people i don't you have like. feelings for you to hurt i'm dead inside me too but <laughs> Okay, uh, does anybody have any further questions that they would like to ask in the chat? If you would, uh, please get them in uh, right now, um, because I think we are lovely just floating towards the end of our conversation um, this week. Quick. It's quick. This is quick. We're an hour and 13 in, like, which is madness for us. a 35-minute podcast. It, oh, my God. Like, how? On Justin, Colby, what? Whoa. How did you do that? Like 35 minutes. Like it was, don't get me wrong. I love your content. Love it every week. I'm like, as soon as that's up, I'm watching. I'll go back. So I'll watch it and then I'll go back and watch it again and usually leave a comment. Like I, I love your stuff. But how did you do that in 35 minutes? Yeah. How? Like we've barely got out of the intros by 35 minutes. You guys did yeah. topics, leaks, multiple colorways, favorite shirts. I was like, God damn. Uh, <laughs> a plug for the bootcast podcast if you haven't watched it um it does yeah, not take up between an hour and two hours of your time weekly 30 to 40 minutes nice little brisk uh walk through a podcast and the guys they've got really great chemistry they're clearly great friends and they um they're really entertaining to uh yeah, they are. To, to listen to it's very very fun um so they they don't go on giant rants about the state of the football boot review community. So maybe you should, Justin. Maybe oh, you should. Here. 
Oh, okay. Serious questions. Is Tampa Pro good? I think Snapback is phenomenal. Shut up, Justin. Um, here's an actual serious question. Is it fair for reviewers to have an honest opinion on boot by wearing them for only 10 minutes in the video? So I think, okay, here, here's my thing. For me, like you kind of get a feel from for a boot. If you've worn enough boots, you kind of get a feel from a boot fairly quickly. But it is in the best interests of you and your followers is if you wear it for longer. Yeah. This, so this is this is the issues I have with Josh, for example. Is he doesn't seem to wear them long enough, and I understand he's putting out a lot of content. That's fine, but. Like, you have to do your due diligence. So this is where I kind of land on that. And the first thing is um, definitely what um, you're saying. When you've had enough boots, you can very quickly pick up what this is like. Very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. However, there are things that change and are affected by you using the boots even over a shorter period of time the way that the boot kind of beds in and the shape of a boot and particularly i find like the heel and areas like that they're things that you have mm. to wear the boots for a bit longer on so um yeah. what i've done before noah does this and i've started doing it more with um hold on let's i'll rewind a little bit so what i was doing when i first started this channel is i would get the boots I would wear them for like a couple of hours as quickly as possible. The boots would come in. This was before I had a kid and I had time. This is when I was living in Denmark. <laughs> I would literally get the boots in. I would run, like run, cycle down to the field, wear the boots for maybe two, three hours, um, run back to my house, record the video and get it up as soon as possible. So that was like my, my process. Um, mm -hmm. then, I, I took a bit of time off when we had when we had our, our kid. And um when I came back, what I started doing was I got really focused on this idea of um genuine uh, being genuine and being very authentic. So I ended up delaying my boot reviews by a long time. So boots would come in and I would literally spend four, six, eight weeks with that boot before the review would come out. Um, and I was doing that all the way up until maybe the F50 dropped. Like I, my F50 review is still not out because I hadn't mm. done, because I was still kind of following that procedure. More recently, I've gone to what you might consider like the Noah style of um, review, whereby mm -hmm. for the Vapor and also for the Sakito, I did a first impressions review. So I was like, mm -hmm. this is me physically taking the boots out of the box. I'm going to go and put them on for the first time um, on the video with you. I'm going to tell you exactly what I think. And usually I can give you a good idea and I can definitely tell you how the si sizing is going to work, which is what a lot of people look for. So that's yeah. what I do. And then a little bit further down the line, I'll drop another review. Did that with the Mercurial. Yeah three, four weeks drop to review. So that means you get two pieces of content. It's not something that I ever wanted to do because it's tw literally twice as much work. Um, but I couldn't justify waiting four to six weeks to get that initial review out anymore yeah. because it was crippling the channel um, because people, the, it wasn't driving the views because people were looking for that information as soon as it dropped and I didn't have it. And then by the time I did drop it, um, everybody else's content was We're basically gone. dominating mine and I, I wasn't uh, really being focused on. So I had to do something. So it was essentially the, the two review system, which you will see more and more from me as, as time goes on and as new releases uh, come out, you'll see a, a first impression and then a, a review a little bit later down the line. Yeah. Uh, so Justin says first impressions can be helpful. I agree. I, I, I think it's perfectly fine to do a first impressions review. I think all you have to do is tell people how long you've been using the boots for. Like yeah. if I'm doing a first impressions, I'm literally like, here are the boots coming out of the box. Here is me mm -hmm. putting these on for the first time. Um, I think as long as you're transparent, I then I think that's completely fine. Yeah. Um, Sub's got a great question. What do you think reviewers could do that they currently don't do to draw a bigger audience? I've thought about relating boots more to players, but is there anything else you think could work? 
I mean, I think in a way, short form content is just ha- it's been forced on us to be the future in some ways. It has been forced um, on us, yeah. And I think another thing you could do is I would like to see this is more difficult to do, but I would like to see, and I've thought about doing something similar. It's like here's me choosing my boots. Here's how I go about choosing my boots. Like not not for review, but like if you're going to buy a boot to wear for yourself, here's the yeah. process you go through. And I think that would help a lot of people. And like if you just update, do a new one every few months, every time you get a boot for personal use as opposed to reviews, I think that could be that could be useful for a lot of people. I think that's very interesting. Um, my answer to Sub's question would be. One, short form. I think you're absolutely right with that. I think anything that can form in, fall into that short form category um, and be a short form review, I think that will definitely draw a bigger audience. Um, and I also think, I'm just giving away my future content plans here. Uh, well, I might not get around to it. The other thing mm-hmm. that is pretty much universally, I, from my experience, guaranteed to work is the on-pitch reviews. Like, mm-hmm. it's... Yeah. If, if I could... I would do 90% of my reviews on the field. I would literally take the camera down. I would set it up. I would do my reviews on the field. I would film what I'm doing um, and all that kind of stuff. That really engages with an audience. It builds trust and Mm -hmm. it's very, very genuine. Um, The problem that I have is I quite simply do not have the time to do that. Um, that That is an entire day. Uh, that I have to go yeah. to to achieve that for one boot. Whereas what I can do is I can wear different boots when I go out and play kind of um, five aside, seven aside. I can wear my boots for various things when I'm not filming. I can, and then when I do go and film, I can film two, three pairs um, at once because I've got time. It's just way more efficient. Um, yeah, it, if I was to go and do my v- reviews like that, it would take me a full maybe 10, 12 hour day uh, yeah, to go and yeah. do that and come back. I Brutal. simply don't have time. Um, however, if somebody does have time, absolutely, I would. that would be my recommendation along with short form is to mm. get out um, to the pitch. Kind of, I suppose Noah's one month reviews are probably a, a good example of that. Um, yeah. But I think there's another way of approaching that that would also be very, that would work really well. Yeah, Noah's one of the things that Noah does so well is the fact that he does unboxing, play test one month. Yeah, that's 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 solid. Yeah, that's really solid. To um, and sorry, go. On. It's so when you're writing a book, you need to be able to plan out how to take people on a story, and I think that's kind of what Noah is doing. People like stories, so mm-hmm. um. It's not bare bones or anything. What Noah is doing is he's taking people on a story for each boot. There's a beginning, a middle, and an end. Yeah. And that's what he does very well. So I think something we can all learn from that, in a way. Yeah, and I think it's interesting um, that the one thing that we are all told, this is getting a little kind of like, I suppose, YouTube techie or whatever. The one thing that you are told to do on YouTube is to tell a story. Um, Mm -hmm. which is very hard to do when you're reviewing a product. Like, how do you tell a story in one video with a product? Mm -hmm. Noah's doing a great job of actually, people know him well enough now to know that that story is falling over two, three videos. Um, And if you can build a story into your one one video, you've got an absolute winner. Like, uh, for example, my Tiempo video, if you really kind of break it down, the beginning is the beginning of a story and as you follow that through so like it's it's that's the idea anyway that's youtube um the other thing i could say is like answer a question like it it sounds it sounds silly i'm not saying literally put it in the thing but um this is this is what i do for a job i was literally making a video on this today um seo keyword research um search intent what is the intent of people that are searching? It usually applies to Google. Um, in this instance, it can apply to YouTube. What is search intent? And uh, answer a question. The question is, is the Vapor 13 better than the F50? There's a video. Answer a question. Yeah. Like, don't focus on doing 
the review that everybody's doing focus on answering a question um yeah. how does this boot fit what does um what how does this compare to the other one uh, what's the weight of this focus on answering a question um i'm giving away yeah. everything that i'm planning right now so anybody who makes content that's watching this you just steal and you can steal all my ideas yeah. i'm giving away giving yeah, them away for free um uh, Oliver1234 says, uh, does the Academy Legend 10 bend like that too? To my knowledge, no. I haven't tried the Academy Legend 10, but I've spoken to a couple of people off the back of the Academy Legend, uh, the, the Pro Legend video, and they have told me it does not. So I can't guarantee that, but apparently it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> Jason would like to know if football is under threat from Paddle. And then says, sorry, wrong podcast. This isn't Tim. <laughs> Inside yeah. joke. DJ, um, one, do you think one from DJ? Boots, do you, yeah, do you think boots should slow down? I call, like I quite like what New Balance are doing. Minor updates and completely different boot every year. Yeah. So we, we talked last week about James very correctly mentioned that the current Predator should be on the two-year cycle. I would argue that done correctly, brands could absolutely do a three-year cycle or like a two-and-a-half-year cycle. If yeah. managed correctly with minor updates, not changing the model every time, they could absolutely do it. The reason they don't do it is because they're too focused on, you know, always having something to talk about. Yeah, um, I, I I said a lot of it last week, and I completely agree with that. I think all boots should run on at least a two-year cycle, um, mm. and they should all slow the hell down. And if you want to do something every 12 months, it is a minor update. It is the new balance model. Um, like this new Predator that we're um, going to get in kind of December, January, mm -hmm. the update, obviously I don't have inside information on this, I'm guessing from what I've seen, the update looks like a, an update to the striking element, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So therefore, yeah. that's not a goddamn new model. Like, yeah. just call it. Just, uh, I mean, they're just going to call it the Predator Twenty Four. That's naming system. Yeah, they've messed up their naming system as well. But um, yeah, yeah, it could it could have been, you know, Predator. Like, if it was the whatever when it was like the Freak, for example, it could be they had the the Freak. It could be the Freak. It couldn't have been the Plus, could it? Whatever. I don't know how they're going to name it. It's yeah. stupid. Moving on. Um, not, but yes, they should slow the hell of down. Thousands of dollars to make stupid decisions like that. <laughs> Uh, ah, Boot Maniac has confirmed that the uh, Tiempo um, Emerald Academy does not bend in the middle. So thank you for that, mm. uh, Julio. Appreciate that. Uh, there we go. Uh, Justin makes a good point. Yeah, we're in a niche hobby interest that will never make it mainstream. No, I, I agree. I don't think it will make it mainstream. Mm -hmm. But there is, we can do, we can do more to reach as many people as possible. Uh, yeah. But yeah, we're never going to be be massively mainstream. Uh, Oliver also says he has the Academy Ten AG. And they don't bend like that. So it does just look like the the pros. Um, D-Rod makes an excellent point. People do want instant information and reaction, even if it's not entirely the most in-depth information. I agree with that. Sure. And it's fine if the information is not in-depth, but it has to be incorrect. Correct. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, Justin's got his ideal schedule here. First impression unboxing, first session, one month, long term. It mm -hmm. would be ideal there's no way I could generate that amount of content. Like it's no. that would with the amount of boots, like, yeah. How realistic is that as a whole different topic? That's what he's put. And yeah, that yeah. would be amazing. If I was only reviewing mm -hmm. a few boots a year, I think that would be fantastic. Um, and it but would be, the, would be a lot the way of fun. The industry is set up. We can't do that. Yeah. You know what? If everybody I, went to a two year cycle and halved the amounts of boots that they've got every year, we might be able to. I mean, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I know boot hype has done, uh, one year reviews. Yeah called after the hype which is very good stuff but i don't know how one for me it's almost impossible because i need to sell the boots to keep going yep but two like i don't know what their numbers look like but i imagine retention's not as much as you want it to be because then people aren't wanting a one-year review on a boot that came out a year and a half or two years Shh. ago they're wanting a one-year review on the newest stuff shall we see what the views were like on my vapor 15 review yeah like let's 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 dive into some some detail shall we because um i did a full like end of life um one year review on the on the vapor 15 
Um, so if I can find Long-term that... Long-term could come out right before a new model, close the chapter on that. Well, makes sense. That's exactly what I did, yeah. So mm-hmm. um, it was kind of more like a two-year review, but anyway. Um, so analytics D-Rod, on that. It was what, a vapor so just thinking? before the vapor. Oh, yeah, sorry. It did all right. Like okay. 10,000 10, 10, views over um, since it was published. So it actually did all right. But it got a... <laughs> this is probably just me gaming the system. A huge spike in the first week. I had nearly 10,000 views in the first week because it was just days before the first, before the new mm-hmm. Mercurial was due to come out. So people were mm-hmm. already clicking, thinking it was a new Mercurial review. Um, since within the first, <laughs> so since the first week, um, since then, it's gained a grand total of 1,500 views after it. Eesh. So yeah, I would say that's probably mm-hmm. not driving the, it's not driving people to, it's not something people want to see. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, we're thinking this latest colorway for the Predators, the last one. No, there will be the Bellingham one, and there will probably be another one, is my guess. Yeah. There uh, shouldn't be. There shouldn't be, but... They'll yeah, that, that would be the, 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 assume, the assumption, anyway. Um, Two-year cycle works well with tournaments. Used to be like that, Chris says. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. New one for World Cups, next one at the Euros. I don't mind if they sprinkle it in between. It just has to be done right. The one-year review worked better in an 18-month 18, 18 cycle, yeah. And certain boots that are evergreenish. Preds never go wrong. Vapor's super fly. Yeah. I heard it from a man himself. There you go. That's from that's Jay from Boot Hype right there. Yeah. Mizuno's one of the proper boots. Mizuno's one of the few brands you can do a one-year review since their boot cycle is a little longer. Yeah. Andrew's point, everybody's looking at the next model for other brands at that point. Adler as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think... 672, not that bad. Uh, you could you could definitely um, be interesting for you to do a maybe a one year Adler review because that's something that you've had for a while. You use a lot. Two years at this point. Yeah, there you go. That'd be an interesting. Yeah. That'd be an interesting revisit for sure. Uh, Justin, final question. We will take this as our final question. Yeah. So, um, should brands drop their new models only at tournaments in the tournament packs? That's interesting. Uh, no. <laughs> it should I, happen. It shouldn't happen at the tournament. It can happen at, on the eve of the tournament, but if you do it during the tournament itself, unless that's what he meant, like leading up to I, the I tournament. Think, I think that's the, what yeah, he that's meant. Fine. I think he meant okay, just like kind yeah, of yeah, then yeah, yeah, on, on right. the way of, as a tournament pack, basically. So yeah, like yeah. just before the tournament. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, it would, apart from, I think the problem that you have there is that uh, brands won't do that anymore because you can't drop all of your lines all at the same time all in one pack yeah you're and not gonna th- you're not gonna see like 2014 like obviously all these new models all at once anymore um that, like that december they're all january split launch window is huge too exactly um so as much as it would be cool i don't think we'll we'll ever see that again where we have multiple um silos all drop at the same time from the same brand mm-hmm. Um, they'll yeah. be spread out throughout the year in order to kind of keep the hype, keep the sales, uh, keep mm-hmm. dominating the conversation, dominate social media, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah. Seven, you haven't liked the video, get on it before the leap. Yeah, yeah like, the video. like the video. Um, so like the video, get subscribed to the old Boot Wizard channel. You are here. Um, if you're in the uh, the UK or similar, you are here at half past midnight. So damn well subscribe uh, <laughs> uh, yeah like the video let us know your comments if you are watching this on the catch up thank you very much for watching and leave your uh, information down in the comments leave your thoughts down in the comments too catch ups go up on Sunday at 11am lives are Friday at 11pm any adjustment to the schedule will be posted on our Instagram channels mm-hmm. which is a lovely segue into my Instagram which you can find me at Boot Wizard Boot Reviews and uh, Mr. Lockhart where can the people find you Lockhart Boot Blog. Shock! Uh, find Andrew at Lockhart Boot Blog on both Instagram, and that is, of course, his blog. Um, thank you very much for your engagement with us this evening. Um, yeah, oh, appreciate so, it. There was... Yeah, thank you very much to everyone um, who nice. has joined us this evening. It's been great. Really nice to chat to everybody. And um, yeah, cool. That's all. So, I'm Shall not we sure see you later? Mention Boots- Bootstagram was very good. I, I don't remember him as much. Sorry. I don't remember him either. I feel <laughs> that's, yeah. that's, that's bad. We're going to go and search some stuff. That's all from yeah. us, guys. All Have right. a good one. We will see you soon. Bye.